Dear friends, I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom. And this Shabbat, we finish reading the third book of the Torah, the book of Ayikra Leviticus, as we read a double portion of Bahar and Bichukosai. Many powerful messages and information that exist in these two portions. And I just want to focus on one verse that we have in this week's portion. And in reality, this is not the only time it's written. It's been written several places in the Torah. And that is where God says, as shapso Tishmaru, you should keep my Shabbos, umikdashi tiro, and you should be in awe of my temple, holy temple, Ani Hashem, I am the Lord your God. This juxtaposition of Shabbos and the temple happens in various places in the Torah. And the question is why? These are two things that are disconnected from each other. Shabbos is one mitzvah that every seven days you have to take a day off and focus it on personal growth and stay away from doing certain work and celebrate it in a certain way. And the temple is a mitzvah about building a home for God, which we had in various forms. Unfortunately, close to 2,000 years, we don't have one. And when very soon Mashiach will come, we'll have a temple again. So why does the Torah always put them together? And perhaps the Torah is telling us something very important for our life. Because we live life in various dimensions. Shabbos is holiness in the dimension of time. We live life in time. Days, hours, minutes, seconds, weeks, months. Shabbos is where we take a dimension in time, which is once every seven days, and we focus it on God and our relationship with God and our purpose here in the world. The temple is a dimension in space that God is telling us that within the space of the world you have to dedicate a certain space to be one that's there fully for God. And the Torah is trying to emphasize to us that in life It's not just enough to do a mitzvah. It's not even enough to just dedicate one of our dimensions of our life to God. But we have to dedicate every dimension of our life. We have to dedicate it to God by dedicating one area of that dimension. Space, time, person, which is ourselves. Totally and completely for God. Shabbos, we take one day of the week and it's all centered around God. We live our life very differently during that day. All the things that we're accustomed to and are habitual, the other six days of the week we cannot even do on Shabbos. It's a day dedicated to God. The temple, when you walked in, you had to be pure, you had to be holy, holy thoughts. It was an experience of how space can be transformed. And obviously there's the person who has to transform themselves all the time. The Torah tells us that every one of these has to be addressed because we live in all these dimensions. But ultimately, Shabbos supersedes the temple. The holiness of Shabbos, during that day, you're not allowed to build a temple because time is the most precious and most personal commodity we have. We are in control of our time more than anything else. We're not always in control of our space. Some people don't even have their space or a space, but we're all in control of our time. And that's the first thing we have to address, that our time has to be organized, has to be run in a proper way, and we have to dedicate time to God and realizes that this is the greatest gift God has given us is time, the ability to do anything we can because when you, you value time, there's so much that you can accomplish. So may God give you the strength, the ability 
to make every moment count, to dedicate your time to that dimension to God, to dedicate your space, your home, not only a shul, your home, your office, a space within there for God. And may we merit very soon when the world will be filled, the whole space, with godliness and the entire time feeling holy when Mashiach will come very quickly in our days. God bless you all. We love you all. Shabbat Shalom. Candlelighting Time in Montreal, 7.56 p.m.